Hello, today I'll be discussing my rotator cuff and scapulothoracic strengthening program. I've had a lot of questions on this. Um, this should not take a long period of time. It's five exercises. I've combined some. You want to do one set of 10 to 15 repetitions for each exercise a day, maybe twice. I know some therapy protocols say three. If you're a teenager, high performance athlete, collegiate, professional athlete, fine, do three. For the rest of us, once or maybe twice a day. I like an IC tube resistance. I tie it to the opposite end of the door. Close the door, we hope. And it's firm. Okay, start with external rotation. You don't really need to do internal rotation because that doesn't use a lot of rotator cuff. For external rotation, if you're starting out with the elbow at the side, which is the starting position for most of these, you just externally rotate your arm, just like this, okay? For the more advanced version, you've been doing this a while, you're in great shape, you're strong, you can have the shoulder 90 degrees and externally rotate like this. Puts more torque on the rotator cuff, which you want if you're strong to start with, if you're just starting out, you want to minimize the torque so you don't flare it. You just use external rotation. I like isotubes or elastic resistance because they have a much less chance of flaring you. If it's a bad day for me, I can always step closer to the door to make the resistance less. I'm feeling good, you can always step further from the door, increase the resistance even within the same set of exercises. So external rotation, either like this or like this, that's one. Now we're gonna do shoulder extension and scapulothoracic retraction. So I start here, relaxed. Now one is just pulling my shoulder blade back or trapping it. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not just two. It's important to separate this into four separate motions so I'm not just working my biceps. Okay, so one, two, three, four. That's exercise number two. Next, abduction. That's it. You want to stay within the pain-free arc of motion. So if it hurts going up this high, don't go there. Just go this high. Maybe in a couple weeks you'll be able to go that high. Okay? So that's three. Four, shoulder flexion with scapulothoracic protraction. One, two, See, I'm just punching the shoulder blade forward. Three, four. One, two, three, four. It's four. The number five is what we call PNF, like drawing a sword. Thumb down, thumb up. Thumb down, thumb up. Again, stay within the pain-free arc of motion. Each exercise, one set of 10 to 15, usually once a day, sometimes twice, rarely three. Um, so again, number one, um, either external rotation like this, if you're more advanced or starting out like this. Two, extension with scapulothoracic retraction. Three, abduction. Four, forward flexion with scapulothoracic protraction, and five, PNF. Thank you.